Hey everyone, and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home, and welcome to episode six of the home renovation series. If you are new here to my channel, basically we just bought this house and we have been working on renovating it, and if you haven't seen all the other renovation videos on this house, the previous five videos, the empty house tour, all of that, it will all be linked down below. If you haven't seen those videos, you definitely need to go back and watch them because this house has come so far and I don't realize how much this house has transformed until I go back and look at pictures and videos from when we first started the renovation to now where we're at, it's just crazy. So in this video, you guys are gonna get to see the house textured and painted, and the contractor told us the other day that they are going to be completely done by next week. So we have the carpet scheduled to be installed next week, and we're gonna get to start putting in the floors next week and the light fixtures. So be sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on all the videos. For the rest of the month of April, my channel might just be about this house because for the rest of April, we are just gonna be working really hard up here to get a lot of this house done by the end of April so that we can move in. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. This video is gonna start off with some outdoor projects that I'm getting done. Hope that you guys enjoy. show you guys where we're currently at with the house it is basically just a disaster everywhere because so much has been happening so yeah a lot going on in here but it's just because they are doing so much in here right now yesterday they were getting this kitchen ceiling all patched up and ready for mud and texture and all of that this is the last bit of red paint in the whole house and this should be gone probably on Monday all of this is drywalled and patched and we did end up keeping the arch I wrote them a little note up there to keep the arch they got all this patch right here I showed you guys in the last video that we had to move the whole electrical box up higher so that was kind of a big deal this laundry room room is almost ready for texturing and the office back here is completely ready for texture but yeah lots of stuff happening we should be seeing paint on at least one of the walls this week hopefully the whole house is just looking like a giant construction zone basically I'm really glad that we have concrete floors if you guys are freaked of snakes then don't watch this clip okay We've got our first snake on our property thankfully it's just a harmless king snake but it still just makes my skin crawl because I hate snakes. Oh my goodness. So it is Saturday morning now and we are up here at the house to measure the three bedrooms for carpet because we're going to be doing carpet in the master bedroom, the guest bedroom, and then the boys bedroom. So I just wanted to pop up here to the new house to show you guys what it is looking like. As you can see behind me, it is looking completely different. The whole house is textured, the whole house is primed. All they have to do now is just paint all of the walls in the house and they already have half of the new doors hung up. Those just need painted and then they have to cut the rest and hang those up and then they are going to be done. Like they should be done middle of next week and then we can get in here and put floors it is getting so exciting and it is looking like we are going to be moving in here at the end of this month. There for a couple of days it was looking like we are not going to be moving in by the end of the month because stuff was going slow. The carpet is scheduled to be installed in three of the bedrooms next week on Friday. So as long as we get the carpet in the bedrooms and we get those fit to where we can sleep in them, then we can definitely move in here as we finish up the rest of the house out here. And we had a little bit of a hiccup a couple days ago. The texture wasn't turning out like how we wanted it to. Thank 
Thankfully, they had only textured one of the bedrooms, so it was easy. They just had to sand it off and then retexture. And now we are happy with the texture. It looks great. They did an awesome job. So I'll stop talking and I'll walk you guys through the house and show you the updates. Okay, so it's a little bit dark in here just because they have all of the windows covered up, but it is looking so good in here. It's got a lovely mosquito up there on the wall. Every single wall in the house is textured and primed. And like I said, the ceiling is primed and painted. So it is completely done. All they have to do is paint the walls basically. This weekend we are going to measure the kitchen so that I can install my floating shelves and we can also build up the cabinets all the way up to the ceiling before I paint them. Yes, we did keep the archway and I am so glad that we did. It just really helps to section off the laundry room from the kitchen. And I don't think I've showed my pantry since the empty house tour but I do have this big walk-in pantry here and they are going to be painting all of the closets and the pantry and everything white. Okay, the laundry room is textured and primed. It's feeling nice and bright in here. There was two cabinets right here, but we moved those out to the carport just so that they could texture and paint back here. But now that they're gone, I kind of really like this corner being open. I think I might just put a bench in here with some hooks on the wall. And they did get some of the doors hung, but they haven't painted any of the doors yet. And you guys can see a little peek at my black hardware right here. Back here in the office, it's pretty much the same. It's textured and primed back here, all ready for paint. Hopefully they will start painting tomorrow. Right here is a good comparison of what the new doors look like up against the old doors. This just makes me so glad that we went ahead and bought new doors. It really gives the house an upgrade and it's going to look so good when we've got those black square handles on there. Okay, we'll walk back through the kitchen and I'll go show you guys the bedrooms back here. They got another one of the new doors hung here on this hall closet and this just makes me so happy because seeing the new doors hung up means that progress is happening. These doors just have to be painted and the handles just have to be stuck on here and turning right here into the master. They aren't doing anything to the bathroom. We are going to be working on the bathroom after we move in. But they did have to work here in this part of the bathroom getting that patched up, retextured, and primed because that's where we ripped out that closet and stuff just to make room for that freestanding tub that we want to put here eventually. But we are cash flowing this reno and right now everything else is taking the reno budget that we have right now. So the bathroom is just going to have to wait a little bit longer. They got both of our closet doors hung. So exciting. These just need to be painted like I said, we're obviously not going to keep them yellow. This will be my husband's walk-in closet on this side. And so many of you have given us such good ideas for this space right here. A lot of you said to put a desk in there. We thought about doing like a little fireplace or we could do a little bench in there. And then this over here will be my walk-in closet. It's just so exciting to see all of this progress in here because like I said, there for a couple days, it was getting depressing every time we come up here because there would be hardly any progress. But now today, there is so much progress in here. Here in the guest bedroom, it's pretty much the same. The walls have been textured and primed. The ceiling is painted. And here's the door that's supposed to go in this doorway. And you guys can get a little peek of the black, the matte black hinges that I've got right here. In the boys' bedroom, it's the same. The walls have been textured and primed. The ceiling's painted. And hopefully this weekend, we can hang up the boys' light fixture because I've been dying to get that hung up. And here is their door laying right here. It already has the hinges on it. It's mounted on the door frame ready to be painted. And then they've got their closet door mounted in here as well. And they aren't touching this bathroom either. They're just going to be painting the ceiling in there because I'm going to be the one giving that bathroom a makeover. Had to cut the budget where we could. We couldn't have them do everything obviously. I went out and grabbed the tape measure so that I could measure both of our master closets because I want to order some organizational stuff for in there. Just that when we move everything in here, I can go ahead and just organize it into the closets. I need to hurry up and get out of here because this paint smell is pretty toxic and I can feel it getting to me a little bit. I need to find me some really cool corbels to put on either side of this doorway just to kind of round it out a little bit. I think that would look really neat. the next day and today they started putting the first coat on the whole inside of the house like on all of the walls and I was so nervous the whole drive up here because I've only seen this paint color on samples and what little pieces that I painted on the wall but a color can look completely different when you paint a whole room that color so I was super nervous that the color wasn't gonna look right but as soon as I walked through the door it was just like a huge sigh of relief the color looks perfect on the walls. Like it looks exactly how I imagined it would. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, so it's still kind of dark in here because they have all the windows and the doors covered. 
but they do have the first coat of paint on the walls and it's kind of splotchy in spots just because this is the first coat when they do the second coat they'll go in with like a paintbrush and stuff and get up close to the ceiling and in those corners and stuff but what do you guys think of course the color looks completely different in person but i feel like it's coming off pretty good on camera okay so the official color that is going on the whole inside of the house is agreeable gray by sherwin williams so after weeks of trying to decide what color to go with inside of this house it was like the one thing that i could not make my mind up on i finally came across this color and i just went for it. It wasn't even any of the samples that I painted on the walls. I literally just brought the sample card in the house quickly and I was like, oh yeah, I think this is going to look good. I like how it looks in other people's houses that I've seen pictures of. So I just decided to go for it and I am so glad that I did. I think it looks so good. The person that ultimately inspired me to go with this color was actually a lady over on Instagram. She has an Instagram page full of pictures of their beautiful house that they built and they went with accessible gray in their whole entire house. It just looks so good. It was exactly the color that I was looking for and a big thank you to her because I was messaging her about it asking what finish she got it in and stuff and I did get it in the eggshell finish just like her and I think it's perfect. I walked through this door earlier and I didn't even notice that they had hung it. I was just so interested in looking at the paint color but they got our master bedroom door hung right here. They were hanging them before they were painting them because they had to cut some of them up to size and they just had to make sure that they were all fitting and good to go and now they're gonna take them off and paint them. So let's take a peek at what the master bedroom looks like with this paint color. Originally, I was gonna do a completely different color here in the master bedroom just to kind of set it apart from the rest of the house but then in the end, I just decided to paint this color in every room of the house except for the bathrooms. And I think I told you guys yesterday about how they got this all patched up and textured and everything. When they textured this, they had to match the texture in the rest of the bathroom, just that it looked all the same. And we are very impressed with how well they were able to match that texture to the rest of the bathroom. So let's walk back here. It looks like they've got all these doors hung up as well. So that must mean that all of the doors are cut to size and they'll probably be painting all of these tomorrow. Here you can see the beautiful black hinges from Cosmas Hardware. They're gonna look so good up against the white doors. Here's the boys' room and their bunk bed and everything is gonna match this color so perfectly. They'll probably be putting that second coat on tomorrow and then painting the doors and they should be done beginning of next week. Okay, very exciting day. Um, I love the paint color very excited with how it turned out. I can't wait for Jalen to come up here and see this paint color because this is exactly the type of paint color that he was hoping for, so I know he's gonna be excited. So today I've got Jalen with me and we just went up to the house and we measured in the kitchen for all that stuff that we're gonna do above the cabinets and everything. And I'll show those clips right after this clip because I didn't film that. But now we are heading to go and pick up the beams that we ordered that are gonna go on the ceiling. So Jalen's seeing the paint color for the first time. What do you think? I like it. It's a little lighter than you it thought. It is a little lighter than I thought, but yeah. I think it's all done. I think it's going to look really good because you don't want it too dark because back here in the hallway, it looks pretty dark when you don't have as much light. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Now they got all the plastic off and everything. It looks like a whole different kitchen. Yeah. So how are we going to measure above these kitchen cabinets? Well, 12 inch board and then we'll put one by twos up on the ceiling and one by twos on or even yeah one by one would even work okay these are for undercover lights you want to keep them and <laughs> the, the, you mean like we could put a switch there and wear these as undercover no the, 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 the undercover ones have a little button on yeah that's the ones i put in that last house that had a button on it. Mm -hmm. so i could get full power from these to do that so are we covering that up or are we keeping that? Well, no, that one just to power that box. Oh, just the main power yeah. Okay. Gotcha. The other one that's right here, uh -huh. it's for your stove. Okay. Gotcha. And that's basically why I had to raise the box. Mm -hmm. Because of that. Yeah. <laughs> picked up the two beams for the ceiling and then we also grabbed a rough cut beam for the fireplace.
the trim. Is this nice. all the trim for the floor? This is not a boat corner. Okay. Nice. Did he get the rest of that touch up paint done too? What touch up paint? That he was doing over here. Well, they're still, they didn't spray more of that. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't spray that yet. And they didn't spray more over there. They were spraying the closet, so yeah, who knows? Yeah, that's true. What if you got the door over here? Nope. Still in there. What did what? they do since we left? <laughs> so what's the touch-up paint? What did he mean by that? Well, he was doing like, look up here at the ceiling. Looks like around the edges and yeah. stuff. Okay, it's the next day. We're back up here at the house, and I think I'm just gonna end this video here and just start a new one today as we work on some projects here in the house. I know that this video was more like showing you guys updates and stuff. We really weren't doing a lot of projects and stuff, but this week and next week, we're gonna be doing a ton of projects in here as we work on the kitchen cabinets, start putting down flooring, all of that, so stay tuned for those videos. They painted all of this trim yesterday. This is the floor trim, and I think some of this might be the door trim, and they were also working on painting the insides of the closets. So we had them just go ahead and quickly spray the insides of all these closets white. It looks like they got every single closet sprayed, so that's awesome. I think over the next two days, they're just gonna be working on finishing spraying up the trim and then spraying these doors and putting the handles on. So like I said, I'm just gonna end this video here and start a new video today. So stay tuned for all of that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.